In today's video, I'm going to share with you a decision-making process that helped me get into an Ivy League school. It helped me build my first million dollar business, make my first six figures, get the job that I really wanted. And it's helped me do a lot of things from a health perspective, relationship perspective. And that's actually something I did study in college a bit. It was uh, in the realm of sociology and basically that different places have different social norms. So, you know, what we don't realize is that the people around us influence us subconsciously without our acknowledgement or recognition. And it, and it happens in a subtle way. Like if you really look back at your life and you think about some of the best friends that you had, you know, think about the times where you actually picked up a piece of clothing or, or fashion because you saw your friend do it. Or maybe you started to eat a certain food because you had a friend or someone you looked up to do it. And it's so subtle that we do this. It could even be with like slang or lingo. Like I had a group of friends that had definitely like a certain type of slang and I would try to do it or whatnot. So in terms of these places that we're in, it's more than just the friend group as well. It's the things that you see on a daily basis and then you start to consider it as normal. So luckily for me, I've been able to live in places like New York, Miami, San Diego, LA, Vegas. I've even lived internationally for a little bit a few months at a time. And you really do get to see those social norms when you do that of different places specifically. But also when I go back to my hometown, which is pretty small, I see the way that people think about things. And it's the small comments. It could be in terms of price of bread or price of juice. Like I'm walking down the aisle in my small town and you hear someone make a comment about the price of this or that and it's you know should be 50 cents less and then I'm walking down another aisle in some organic grocery store in LA and it's like oh no I can't eat that because of you know xyz right <laughs> like those are subtle details but we pick that all up and we're literally taking it in on a, a daily a weekly a monthly basis and before you know it your thought process get in, ingrained with not just the people around you, but also the community that you're in. So what I really realized was that I need to go ahead and identify what the people are doing that have what I want. And this is how I originally did it is I looked at people that I looked up to and I was an athlete. So I looked up great athletes. I looked up people in business. And then I also would look up people, maybe like Albert Einstein that had uh, different ideas published about, you know, thoughts and frequencies. And when I heard different people from different fields that were all great in their different realms say the same thing, I'd be like, oh, this is probably true. And, you know, by doing this process of questioning what I believe and also really trying to look at the truth of like, how can I make a better decision to put me in a better spot? I was able to get ahead and accomplish goals. And a lot of people also make decisions based off of their past failures, which is something that, you know, I'm still guilty of today. You know, everybody is really, you know, we have an idea of something we want to do, but because we failed at something similar or something maybe in a different realm, we give up on that idea we're actually trying to pursue. And not to say that you shouldn't avoid certain things because they truly are not right for you, like you should, but a lot of times people cancel out opportunities because they failed at something before. So, you know, basically what you got to really look at is this. Are you looking at your decision through the lens of, you know, the the influence that you've gotten from the people, places, and, you know, even the priorities set by those people and places? And you go into this autopilot decision-making process where you're doing the same thing over and over? Or are you actually operating in, in a way on a daily basis where you're making decisions in alignment with the person you want to become, with the person you aspire to be. Because when you can do that, when you can think like that and be like that and then do those actions, what happens is, is you end up getting those results. So one thing that I would do as an athlete, and I was a state champion athlete, um, which you know, maybe it doesn't say much. Um, you know, honestly, it's kind of weird to think about because I, I, I did go and I met people that were way better than me when I went to college, like way, way better. So, you know, point being is this, is what I found was, is when I would act like a state champion and then do the actions on a daily basis that champions would do, ultimately I had the confidence and the beingness of that. And I literally became that. At first, I didn't have that confidence. The actions can take you a long way. And if we actually look at 
the way people feel when they're just contemplating something or maybe they're thinking about doing something and then the way they feel when they're actually taking action towards something, even if you don't succeed and you make that small bit of progress, you do feel better, right? So whenever I'm contemplating something, I try to take action on it and just do it. So for example, like this video here, I'm just doing it. And what happens is, is over time you experience things, you do things, and it's not always going to be overnight. It's not going to be overnight. Sometimes it will take three, six months, a year, two years, you know, for everything to come to fruition. And like Steve Jobs says, you know, you can't connect the dots looking forward, only looking back. But eventually you get to that point where you actually become that person you need to be to have those things that you want in your ideal environment, in your ideal life, right? Whether that's business, whether that's work, whether that's your relationships, health, whatever it may be, it is be, do, have. So anyways, this is my thought process on it. It's helped me out a lot, find success in, in, in different areas of my life, whether that be health, fitness, education, business, and hopefully it helped you. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. 